Hey guys, Dempsey here, and today we're back with another trailer reaction, this time for the film Those Who Wish Me Dead, which, honestly, other than the fact that it's directed by Taylor Sheridan and it stars Angelina Jolie, I have no idea what to expect. I literally have no idea what this film is about, uh, but it's directed by Taylor Sheridan, and I believe he also co-wrote it, so I have pretty high hopes, <laughs> okay? Uh, but I don't want to waste any more of your time. Let's jump right into it. Let's react. Why'd they put you in a fire tower? Oh, John Berthel. Okay. Well, I'm just lucky, I guess. They have those uh, southern accents. Taylor Sheridan's signature. I read the wind wrong. That looks pretty cool. I should have gone to them. Wildfires? Hmm. Then you've been dead, too. This looks pretty sick. That's our job. It can't just be about wildfires, though. As a kid? Hey! Or, or not? I'm not gonna hurt <laughs> I wanna see where the blood's coming from. It's not my blood. You in trouble? Oh, look at that guy. Oh. What? Anyone else in trouble? Holy cow! My dad said if anything happened, I should find someone I could trust. Are you someone I could trust? We promise absolutes. What? Tyler Perry? What? Act accordingly. Run on. Run on. Those men that came for your father. Did you see their faces? Well, Nicholas Holt. What? Cut you down. Oh, is that even good? Oh my god! Run! Give me something else to worry about. No. No. You're gonna run. Run on for a long time. And you're gonna oh. keep running. Oh. That eats everything in its path. Oh. You really wanna die for this kid? Holy cow. Take a deep breath. Hold it. And lay back. Yo. What happens next? You're looking right in the eye. Oh. Of course, HBO Max. Yo, I swear, HBO made the best decision releasing all of their films simultaneously in theaters and on HBO Max. Uh, because, you know, the, the climate for COVID is still kind of, like, iffy. Uh, so, you know, a lot of people are still kind of, like, worried about going to the theaters. But, honestly, they could not have chosen a better year to do this because it feels like all of their content so far has just been, like, incredible. Um, wow. That, wow. 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 Let's unpack. The, the, oh my god, that looks incredible. Uh, honestly, the thing with the kid is a little bit reminiscent of uh, <laughs> Sicario 2. Uh, but um, hey, I don't care. It looks like he, he, he he's going all out for this one. Um, so we have Angelina Jolie, who's a former firefighter, and she's scared of the fire. She has that traumatic past, and then it comes back to haunt her as she's trying to protect this kid. This looks awesome. Uh, honestly, it's been a while since we've seen Angelina Jolie in, like, a real banger. Uh, I know she's been busy with, like, you know, her own directorial projects as well as, like, that whole Brad Pitt thing. But it looks like she is back, baby. Um, once again, Taylor Sheridan just never disappoints. And this looks like another memorable film for his filmography. Uh, let's talk about that cast. Tyler Perry, John Bernthal, who, if I'm being honest, doesn't look like he makes it too far into the film. Um, and it, I'll even say I, I do think that the film does show you a little bit too much of what might happen, uh, especially with that that kind of what looks like an interaction between Angelina Jolie and Nicholas Holt's character. Uh, but yeah, Nicholas Holt, who is so underrated, man. I, as much as I love Robert Pattinson as the new Batman, uh, can you believe that it came down to those two? Honestly, 
either one would have been perfect in my opinion because Nicholas Holt he is he's one of those child stars that just grew up and just blew up you know what I mean uh and he didn't get it oh my god what a cast what a film uh, well, I, I, not what a film I haven't seen it yet, but it, I can't. I, I'm I'm pretty sure that that's gonna be my reaction after I see it. Those who wish me dead. If it wasn't on my radar before, it is certainly on my radar now, and it will be out in a little over a month. Very excited to see it. Whew. Man, I, I, I did not expect the wildfires to come back into play like that. I thought it was gonna be more like a drama, but man, Taylor Sheridan just really knows how to play with your emotions. Uh Man, this is this is gonna be good. Granted, you know, uh, yeah, I think it's, I I I want to say that going into it, you kind of think you know what to expect, but it's Taylor Sheridan, and he really knows how to um, remix the genre. Uh, I just keep on thinking about you know the way Sicario ended, or um, what was that other one? Oh, ah, uh, Wind River. Oh, the climax of that film is incredible. So. Yeah, I'm very excited to see what he does with this. But that is my reaction to those who wish me dead, guys. What did you guys think of the trailer? Are you just ex as excited as I am? Because, yeah, I'm, I'm marking my calendar for this one. And uh, I, I, I may even review it on my channel if I, if, if it's not a busy weekend that weekend. Because, um, you know, it, it seems like there's just so much content coming out lately. But, uh, yeah. Let me know what you thought about it down below in the comment section. Uh, I'm gonna thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your day to view this trailer reaction. It really does mean the world to me. And uh, yeah, once again, if you're new here, uh, if you want to subscribe, feel free to. I post new movie-related content weekly, and I actually have a new movie review and an interview coming out later today, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, and tons of stuff coming out later this week too, but um, wow. Now to go on to the other uh, trailers that I missed this week, because this is honestly the first trailer I've seen uh, like in a few days. So uh, I'm gonna get back to that. Probably won't react to any of those, uh, but damn, this, this ugh, I don't think any of them can top this. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much. Until next time, I'm Dempsey Pullot. Take care.